Right, well, we've got a very uh, nice TV to show you today, the uh, Panasonic LZ2000, or LZ2000, I suppose, depending on which part of the world you're from. Um, uh, uh, but before I show you the actual TV, <laughs> I wanted to show you one of my slight... Uh, I mean, it's, a, it's a lovely TV, but I do have a couple of little niggles. Look at the size of this remote control. This is crazy. Um, I'm just so used to tiny little remotes with hardly any buttons on them these days. And this one's got like all the buttons on it. Uh, and this is really uh, the interesting thing about this Panasonic TV. If anything, it's got too many features. It's a sort of a beautiful mess of everything that you could ever want and all the things that you never even asked for all squashed into uh, one big box uh, or one remote control, uh, as you can see here. I mean, there's more favorite shortcut buttons on there than you'll find on any other uh, remote uh, you've got these classic Panasonic uh, red green yellow blue buttons uh, just like the old days um, dedicated volume channel play pause controls number buttons they're all on there it's uh, yeah it's huge uh, <laughs> but let's go and have a look at the, I, mean, I mean you know it's fine it does the job uh, let's go and have a look at the TV itself so here it is uh, the uh Panasonic LZ2000 in all its uh, glory. This is a 65 inch uh, model. And uh, of course the most striking thing about it, as you can see, is the built-in sound system. It basically here, it looks like a whole sound bar, right? But that's all just uh, built in along the bottom of the TV. And uh, you can also see, if I look, show you over the top here, uh, we've got upward firing speakers, um, all kinds of stuff going on in the back of the TV as well. So, um, yeah, I'll just uh, stop showing my reflection in the TV, coming to you at a bit more of an angle. And we can uh, definitely adjust the angle because this uh, stand uh, is very easily to uh, rotate the TV. Um, I've got a bit of stuff behind it, so I'm not going to rotate it too much. Uh, but, yeah, that's one of the things that I, uh, I certainly like about uh, this setup as well. Uh, but let's uh, turn it on and show you some of the other tricks it can perform. Okay, now I've just um, queued up some nice 4K footage for you here. And I'm really hoping that you can see the amazing depth and detail that this uh, OLED screen offers. Um, it's almost like it's 3D. <laughs> that It's got that, that real depth uh, to it and the contrast and the sharpness and the brightness. It really is a quite a stunning display. But as you can see, uh, for the people who claim that there are no bezels to the screen or that they're very small, yes, they're small, but you can see them. So that's a slight exaggeration to think of this as just being uh, one seamless pane of glass. Okay, now I know I've said a lot of nice things in my review about how good this uh, TV sounds, um, and it really does, because uh, we've got basically a whole um, home theater sound system uh, built right into it. You've got the sound barrel on the bottom and as I've already showed you uh, the upward firing speakers, there's a woofer in the back. Uh, so yeah, it does a pretty good job. Uh, but I did notice when I was watching the final episode of Handmaid's Tale uh, the other day, um, it finishes with the Billie Eilish track. I don't think I'm giving too much away. I don't think it's a major plot point. Uh, but if I just play that you, reasonably loud, you might hear what my issue was. Here we go. It's coming up. Did you hear that? Okay, so it sort of managed to correct itself, but we had a little rattle, a little bit of distortion. And certainly, yeah, with some of the louder, boomier, bassier uh, noises and music, sometimes there is a bit of a distortion, a bit of a rattle there. So it's not the perfect sound system, but it's it's up there. Right, so of course, uh, with this uh, nice big tally with this amazing sound, gives you a great opportunity to do some uh, pretty cool gaming. Uh, just so happens I've got the uh, the new Apple TV streaming box plugged into it. So I've got a selection of uh, Apple Arcade games uh, to choose from. That's a bit disorientating. As you can see, it looks pretty good, sounds pretty good. 
Uh, and we can enhance all that uh, by, uh, I've set uh, the shortcut app uh, on the remote, the My App button to bring up the gaming controls. And so we can change the viewing mode, uh, do all those things that gamers like to do, refresh rates, uh, enhance what happens in the dark. But yeah, the viewing mode is the most important one, put it into game mode, uh, which seems to just make everything pop a little bit more. And um, as you can hear, probably in the background, it sounds pretty good too. See, this really is the TV that does everything. 